Hi everyone, today we are talking about reporting snapshots in Salesforce. What are reporting snapshots? Have no idea? No worries, we're here to teach you all about them. A reporting snapshot basically lets you report on historical data at different points in time so that we can compare them over a specific time period. For example, you might want to know how many active, lapsed or expired members you had at the beginning of each month for the past year. Maybe you want to know how many major donor prospects you had at the beginning of each month. Or maybe the total number of cases in an open status how many did you have at the end of each work week? As you can see, these different data points are based on a snapshot of your Salesforce records at a certain point in time, rather than the data that's on the record itself right now. So authorized users can save tabular or summary reports, and we can save these results from these port reports in a custom object. Then we can schedule this report to run and to load new data into this custom objects fields when the report data is set to refresh. Reporting snapshots then enable us to work with this report data similarly to how you would work with other records in Salesforce because all we're doing is taking the data from a report and essentially putting it in a new custom object in Salesforce. To set up a reporting snapshot, you'll need your source report and then you'll need your target object that has fields which you will be containing the data from your source report in. Once you've done this, you're all ready to go with your reporting snapshot and to start making some awesome insights into your data over time. I hope that this was a nice overview of what a reporting snapshot is and perhaps a little bit of how it could help your team and your Salesforce org.